And if you are specifying your query in inches, you can convert it and expand the query easily in a, in a variable that uses metrics, metric uh, units. Okay. Internal, the whole thing would look like this. You import the ontology. That's it. Okay, there are other ontologies for describing products and services. And an important thing for you to take home is you can. Good relations does not assume um, getting rid of all heterogeneity as far as the products, types, and features are concerned. There will be many competing ontologies for describing the type and the feature of a product. There will be E-class and UNSPSC, there will be free class and UNSPSC, there will be a consumer electronics ontology and E-class, they partly overlap, fine. I don't force anybody who has data according to free class to convert it to E-class before publishing it. Rather, publish it in the most structured form that you can produce easily, and then wait for the web to help mitigate remaining heterogeneities. Yeah? So it is perfectly fine that you expose your data using your proprietary ontology, if that is the cheapest thing you can, uh, the thing you can produce most easily, and hope that others do mapping at the schema level between your ontology and E-class. It could even be in the long run that someone classifies your items according to E-class and charges customers or you a commission when only by that means customers can help find your offer. So links in that uh, uh, huge web could be toll roads. And it could also be a chain of such toll roads. Anybody could 